Only on Local 10, we are taking a closer look at a tragic elevator accident in Aventura that cost one man his life. Some in the industry argue this death could have been prevented. Local 10 investigator Amy Vettieri uncovered a troubling violation similar to safety concerns we have told you about before. So I had received a phone call that there was a tragedy in our industry. A 28-year-old elevator technician named Harrison Blake Meharry killed while working inside the elevator shaft at the Harbor Towers condo in Aventura on October 12th. The details of the death still under investigation, but this county inspection report from the following day found troubling violations, showing the elevator pit stop switch was inoperative. A jumper was found bypassing the switch. But again, we're at the word jumper. The term jumper used to describe rigged wiring to keep equipment running. In this case, deliberately disabling critical safety devices such as the automatic shutdown. Like I talked to you last time, I said it's not a matter of if, but when. And when, unfortunately, has happened. Local 10 first highlighted concerns over jumpers in March after dozens were discovered on escalators, elevators, and moving walkways at Miami International Airport. The company contracted to maintain that equipment, Oracle Elevator, is the same company responsible for elevators at the Aventura condo. The president of the company, which also operates under the brand Elevated Facility Services, telling Local 10 in a statement, we are absolutely devastated by this tragic loss. The safety and security of our team members and customers is our utmost priority, and we are fully cooperating and working closely with all authorities and involved parties throughout the investigation. Representatives with the local union detail how a technician working in the pit of an elevator shaft would first hit the stop switch, which should keep the elevator from running, but not if there was a jumper disabling that switch. Oh, it's very critical because then he does, he's not aware of the potential hazard of that elevator possibly coming down on him. Meharry's father writing on social media, his son had just gotten married in August and was expecting a baby when the accident happened. Miami-Dade County's Office of Elevator Safety telling Local 10 it is supporting the investigation, which is being handled by OSHA, writing, the office has issued a lockout order of the elevator unit, which will be subject to inspection prior to release for operational use. As for the safety issues involving Oracle at the airport, the department tells Local 10 that matter is an open investigation that is being handled by the Office of the Inspector General. As these are both ongoing investigations, we are unable to comment further at this time. In May, Oracle's vice president told county commissioners the safety concerns at the airport were a malicious attempt by the union to discredit them, a non-union company, telling us this. We think we have um, a third party involved in this and putting the jumpers on the elevators and escalators. Same issues over and over, and now, now somebody's gone. Union members say their focus is on keeping people safe, and more could have been done to prevent this. When is enough enough? We talked about jumpers at the airport. Now we have a jumper on a job where a technician is, has passed away. It's not something that, oh, well, you can turn your head on it and say, oh, it, it doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen. No, something can happen. Something did happen. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Thanks a lot. The, inve <clears throat> the investigations into the deadly elevator accident and the safety concerns at Miami International Airport are both ongoing. To learn more about these elevator safety concerns and the company in question, take out your phone right now and scan this QR code right there on your TV screen. It will take you to our Local 10 Investigate section on our website.